Every day, scientists across the globe are making small discoveries, each contributing incremental improvements in the technology-based patchwork of support structures that creates convenience in our daily lives. Behind many of these innovations is a scientist. We'd like to introduce you to three of them. Join us for interviews with three of Academy Science Malaysia's 2013 intake for its top research scientist Malaysia database, a repository of this country's scientific creme de la creme. Hi, I'm Rajin Nozalika Raja Abdul Rahman, the head of Ensam and Microbial Technology Research Center. I'm uh, Lokman Chua, I'm actually from UPM. We are currently in the Security and Duty Department. I'm Dr. Chandra Vibaratna, uh, Chief Scientist from Malaysian Nuclear Agents. At our studio at Minara Star, we talk to a nuclear scientist, a chemical engineer, and a molecular biologist as we find out what drives the brainy workhorses who keep this planet moving forward. Your, your job as a, as a molecular biologist is to go and look for microorganisms and useful enzymes. Correct. So you actually went to the Palm Oil Estate, mm -hmm. went through the Palm Oil Effluent, mm -hmm. and you looked and you found a whole bunch of microbes. And this particular one was, was novel. What I have in my hand here is a purified form of a thermostable T1 lapis. Isolated from a microorganism named after me, Geobicillus zanidae. Lipase is very thermostable, working at 70 degrees centigrade. And lipase is the one that breaks down oil. So, using this enzyme, I put inside this automatic piece washing detergent. Okay, and it works well. It's basically the biodegradable. Or you repeat roof, roofing material. Yeah, actually made by the bubble base. And also that inside this pore is the uh, roof, they, they contain some of the fatty acid. Uh, they take time that the heated by the roof is heated by the sun. The energy transfer from the roof into the, the, the fatty acid inside that will start to map the, the solid phase of uh, fatty acid into a molten. So energy will kept inside the, 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 the molten instead of transferring inside the hump. For country we have season. So during the daytime, energy was kept in the house, yeah. and they, during the evening or night time, mm -hmm. when the, the motor start to solidify again because of the temperature drop, the energy will transfer back to the house mm -hmm. and warm the house. So why is this particular plast uh, radiation state, uh, sterilizable plastic, uh, important? Uh, radiation sterilizable plastics are important because uh, currently we are actually looking into way to reduce the environmental issue related to the conventional surface radiation system which uses HO, including a plant oxide gas. So in this case, radiation is clean process, fast and also efficient process. Uh, this plastic can be made into very, very standard medical devices such as uh, the device or the plastic tubing which is being used in the dialysis field uh, for blood transfusion. But the dialysis patients are increasing and the need for the dialysis also increasing. By using uh, this uh, compound, so this uh, device locally, then we can reduce the uh, cost of uh, this material. Uh, 